Do Doombia is next to dive into the tank and knows exactly what his business needs. I truly believe the marketing genius of King Kong, Sabri, is what the business deserves to get to the next level. I have been working hard exponentially over the last few years to get this business going, so I'm feeling extremely pumped. I believe this opportunity can change my life today. Hi Sharks, my name is Armadou and I'm from Woolly Grooming. Today I'm seeking $150,000 for 15% equity in my business. With this cream, that started my dream. It was created from the fact that I realized there wasn't enough styling products out there in the market that were well suited for curly and wavy haired folks of the world. And my thought process was if you can create something for the most sensitive of hair types first, you can create an entire range for everybody in the process. So Woolly Grooming is a range of all natural, Australian made hair styling products for both men and women that's 100% vegan. And I'd like to share with you guys and see how you feel about them as well. Please. So first I'll start with you, Robert. Hello. This is our sea salt spray and that's in the Rolly and Sweet Orange. Thank this is you. our sea salt spray and bergamot and vanilla. Ah. Hello, Davey. Thank you. This is our bergamot curl cream. The matte balm is ideal for you, Davey. The matte balm? The matte balm. Because of your finer hair texture, I've created a perfect solution for you as well. I hope you have a perfect solution for me. I can't work miracles, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Is there a little bit of an accent that we're hearing? I was born in Mali, but I grew up in America and New York City most of my life. Right. And the name Wooly actually comes from my culture. It actually comes from the dialect Bambara, which is the main dialect of Mali, and it means to wake up, get up, and grow up. The whole ethos of the brand is to really awaken the best version of yourself every day. Mm. When did you start the business? Been in business now for about 16 months, yeah. a little over. When we launched, we actually did the markets. We've done virtually all the markets in Sydney from Kirribilli, the Shire, <laughs> Bondi. But at the same time, we've got an e-commerce store, which I launched at the same time as the business. Amadou, first Hi. of all, the packaging, the branding is, is great. This Thank you. smells incredible, Thank right? You. So can you tell us a little bit about the product, how it works? Is this a before and after photo yes. that we can see here? When you have curly hair in particular, the things that you are really fighting every day is frizz, breakage, knots, everything that the elements throw at you. This stops that process happening in the tracks. What it does is, as you can see, it keeps those curls nice and soft and defined. Do you have sales background? No. You're amazing. You fooled me. So this takes an, about an hour and a half. Yeah to calm all this down yeah. and get it looking like this. And I struggle with all the problems that you have mentioned. Nothing yet has really nailed it for me. People are still not really quite understanding what it goes into looking after curly hair properly. I designed this brand to be as lazy proof as possible. Okay, I'm lazy. No, I'm hair lazy. Yeah. Janie, are you hair lazy? I'm lazy in general. <laughs> She's the lazy CEO. The CEO. <laughs> but nobody has the same high level of active ingredients in their products like I do. And that's really one of the biggest things that makes mine different. So I'm interested to know what price do you charge for these products? Sure. They are retailed at $34.95 Australia for the sea salt spray, $44.95 for the curl cream and the matte bombs. And in terms of cost, they are priced currently at $8.95 for the sea salt spray to produce one unit and $11.26 for the matte bomb and the shine bomb. Okay. I assume that with the sea salt spray and the bomb, you sell them as a bundle with the I, cream? I do. Tell me about that, my man. I call it the crown of curls bundle. Ooh, it is my Let's go. best <laughs> seller of all. And that retails at $69.95. $69.95. So 71% margin. Whoa. Armadou, when you were selling in the last year, you said you were at the markets. Yeah. And you also said you were selling online. Mm -hmm. Did you have sales? This year, we've generated so far $23,000 in sales and are on target to be hitting $150,000 this year in revenue. What percentage was online? What percentage was in the market? I'll be honest with you, the percentage online was small. The percentage online was roughly about, I'd say, 15 to 20% of all of our total sales. You are an amazing salesman. You're one of the best salespeople we've had on the show. <laughs> Period. True. It's unbelievable. I've never had somebody say to me, I have very little sales in such a nice way. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still so excited. <laughs> but tell me how you're going to scale. 
I firmly believe the professional approach is the right approach to go to. When people are trying new styling products in particular, they want to be able to get that buy-in from their hairdresser to really feel confident about the products that they're buying. So I buy that. So how are you going to get to those people? Working through distributors. I've been actually hacking conversations with distributors who have that element of the game sorted out. But I also know my knowledge is limited. For me, part of the equation is you, but the other part of the equation is the business. Yeah. You did 33,000 in the first year. You didn't do any of it online. You were only selling at markets, but you're telling me that the business is worth about a million dollars a year in. Fully cold on the numbers, why is it worth a million dollars? I would say because of the scale of distribution that we have in the pipeline working, working on. It's going to be a slow start. I have to be honest with you about that. But the potential is what's there to be able to reach that million dollar valuation, in my honest belief, within a year's time. Yeah, I, I, I don't buy that explanation. Okay. I would invest in you all day long, but I don't buy the explanation for the business. I'm out. Thank you, Rob. Amadou, believe it or not, I've actually sold hair products before online. You're kidding. Why? I was selling shampoo. Yep. There are just so many products right. on the market. We needed to make it unique. We turned it into a kit, packaged it completely different, and we got it to about $200,000 a month, and it was still just a brutally competitive market and it just wasn't scaling how I would have hoped. So I'm personally scarred about this, <laughs> this product. Oh. I would love to invest in you, but I don't want to invest in this. I'm out. Thank you, Davey. Appreciate that. I'm um, so <laughs> I love any product that's lazy proof. That sounds great. <laughs> But I don't love, like Robert, I don't love the valuation. For that reason, I'm out. And Amadou, you know, I was kind of going to try and see if I can get in here because I love you and I love your product, but unfortunately, the business at this stage is not for me, so I'm out. If there's one thing I can quickly say before Sabri, you also you give your feedback. When I came here today, the money was part of, was, was obviously a big goal of, of mine, but the bigger goal was really the opportunity of learning and possibly mentorship from you sharks. That was really the big thing that I was sold on me, because I know that would, that would be far more valuable to me than anything else. Why haven't you factored that into your valuation today? Why didn't I? Yeah. I, could, I suppose... <sighs> I suppose I didn't factor that into the valuation because I was thinking about what would be a number that actually looked like an impressive investment opportunity for you guys, if I'm generally honest. Don't discredit the money and say, I'm, I'm just here for the mentoring. I can either give you $150,000 or I can give my five children's inheritance $150,000. This is hard earned cash of ours and we we want something that we really feel good about and we want to give our money to good businesses and we want you to take our money yeah. if it's a really good deal for us and for you let me tell you where i stand when you walked in i saw this up there i was like man i love the packaging love the branding this is a product that i can get behind i was so excited by that right I come from a huge family. I have seven aunties, yeah. 33 first cousins, and all of them have hair that look like that, right? Are you kidding? No. Then you started to speak, and it was like magic to my ears. And then, you know, the valuation that you're giving your business was, was a bit of a kick. But I can see that you're a winner. <laughs> I can see that you're obviously willing to roll up your sleeves and, and do the hard work. You've been out there hustling at the markets. This is going to be a slog. Yeah. 
I am going to make you an offer. I will offer you all of the money. But I will need 45% of the business and a $2 royalty until the money's paid back. Wow, okay. Can I have a minute to think about that? Thank you for that offer. Would you consider a counter offer of 30% equity for 150,000 with the royalties inclusive? I, I just can't go down to 30%. I know how much work's going to be required from myself and how much mentorship is going to go into it. but I will meet you at 40%. Okay. Deal. Yay! Yeah! Well done. You did a great job. We're gonna blow this up. Thank you so yeah. much. We're gonna blow this up. Incredible. Terrific. Wow happening. <laughs> it is. We're going to go out and blow this thing up. That was awesome. See you guys. Bye. He's done it. After a heated pitch in the tank, King of Grooming, Armadou, has partnered up with his dream shark, the King Kong of marketing, Sabri Subi. I feel super excited. The bald man with the hair product is now my business partner. <laughs>